Just give me one second. Me give go. Dan a second. Oh, God, we already pushed record. He, like, did we just push record and he's asking for a second. So everybody get, yeah. no, let's everybody give Dan a second. He, he needs the hall pass from the record button. <laughs> Shut <laughs> I said we're not talking about hall pass. He's, he's, he needs a potty break. He's, just know, like a legit in high school, can I get a hall pass? Um, that's what I thought no. it was. That's and I didn't, I'm so tired. I thought that's what it was, but we're not talking about that. So, Ray, I'm not talking about it if you're listening. So, you had Ray. one fan in the draft. <laughs> Putty break. Putty break. Mike, you've already broken the one rule that I asked you not to do when we came on the podcast today. <laughs> Some some tells me that it's not the only rule he'll break. So wait, oh wait, yeah. we have to we have to we have to start over because Jimmy rules. has to introduce us. Yeah, introduce. No, us. We're, we're getting we're scrapping the introduction. You're not going to say it. No, this is, ladies and gentlemen, this is the number one self di wait self diagnosed number one podcast in the world. Something like that. I messed it all up. No, it's the good. reseller leftover. This is Joe Philly Picker, Dan and the Man. I'm Jimmy Old School Fips and Flip Fips Fips. And we have a special guest with us today, the one and only Death Pile Picker, Mike. What's up, Mike? They might have had it. We special gave him a good what, introduction. What I, I, after we got done with last week's episode and we had uh, Tim and Carry on, we realized we never introduced them at all. So if you're mm -hmm. listening to us on your favorite audio podcast, you, you had no idea who was those voices were. It could have been Jimmy <laughs> making voices. Well, he's, an person, he's an impressionist. He's an impressionist. <laughs> He's like, a, tra a, a train. What is that with the with the puppet? You have yeah, puppets, I'm, right? I'm a I am a ventriloquist in training. Yeah. Yeah, it's right. My hands were all up in them puppets. <laughs> oh Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> so are we gonna are we gonna introduce Mike oh, yeah. for people that don't know? Oh, oh he's geez. the death pile picker. Yeah. Everybody knows me, dude. Okay. I, I don't know. I would assume. I would assume. Okay, yeah, yeah, everybody doesn't know. know. He is Kevin's Rod. Oh my God! Yes, I'm Kevin's. I'm Kevin's Rod. Yeah. <laughs> Kevin the Commonwealth Pickers Rod. Yeah, yeah Kevin. The ironically, because Rod. the only thing Kevin does is give me the shaft. So I don't, oh. know, I don't know how that works. But oh wait, wait, hey. Jimmy, do you have a pad and paper? That's what we were told. Oh, yeah, oh my God, we're, we're not doing this. We're not doing this. Doing this. <laughs> we saw. Oh, we can't get you, you on today. To use the beep. He's on trash to cash this week, so we had it. We're recording the same day that's released, so before you hit it big time, we needed you to come on well, the leftovers. I I only came on here because they edited so much of my goodness out. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a, I'm like thirty minutes in, I think. No, oh, yeah, yeah. We we haven't. We got to one part that was like a major cut, but I'm relying on you guys to be true to the no edits. And we're just gonna we're just gonna see where like the conversation a disclaimer. Goes. I might have to edit in a disclaimer around you. Uh, That's fine. Then, you can edit in a disclaimer. The, and then if you are the listening, views with, represented like, by Death Pile Picker do not align not necessarily with reseller leftover podcast, especially uh, Joe and. <laughs> I'm used, and then Joe, Joe, I'm used to Joe and Jimmy saying the bad stuff, and they're up there. So maybe I should. Could I switch with who? Can I trust to switch up there then? I can point at Mike, and I'm like, I'm not on the same level as Mike. We, I don't want. No, you're, you're there. We could do something. Yeah, we could put you in a small box in the corner or something like that. Like we could oh, do no, that. I, no. Oh, <laughs> you just want to be the big star of the show, Jimmy. <laughs> well, I mean, if the shoe fits, just put me I'm in the joking. picture. In picture. What is that like? A, is that let's, a, do this, let's do this, but then we'll put Dan over here. No, don't do that to me. I don't like that. For those of you listening on your favorite audio platforms, I'm switching around the camera view. Just, well, we have just to, to irritate Dan. We have to make sure if, if you are listening with uh, children to tell them earmuffs right now. Earmuffs. We're not sure what say. For the entire episode. <laughs> earmuffs. Rated R leftovers. Rated R. Yeah. Rated R superstar. Yes. Oh, man. <laughs> no, I, I mean, I, I'm not going to go out of control. I mean, one thing I would like to talk about is... Why'd you put me in the, the, the hot seat here? It's gonna be like it's gonna you know, be like the, the musical chairs of all right. Of we, gotta get that. we gotta get this. Let's go. Let's what we can talk let, about. Let's talk about reselling. Mean, talk about reselling, right? We're fresh off the 127 yes, highway. Right? Now I, I was just curious, what is the resale value and the sell through rate on wiener cakes? Yeah, wiener cakes. What's a wiener? Yeah. Oh, the banana. Did bread. you write down a time, Joe? 
Did you write down kind? <laughs> Got the pen out. I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't. That that compared to what I actually called them now. Oh, Dan yes. brought some. <laughs> no. Dan, Dan, yeah, <laughs> see, those are they're, yeah. but it's banana bread. I uh, so those are shaped like. Somewhat like bananas. They look like somewhat, a banana. Somewhat well, like I, other stuff. I sell them on my. Well, I sold them this time. Well, you can find them on whatnot in the snack category, and I do a. Uh, well, I don't. I'm. I got invited to the last few months to a food train on whatnot Foodie Friday, and uh, I found those. Really? And uh, I thought someone left. Stop switching. It's distracting, Jimmy. <laughs> uh, Sorry. <laughs> I don't You're making me cross <laughs> uh, But I, I don't. I I usually list because on whatnot. I, I'm I'm a strong believer on whatnot that if whatever I sell, I want to like to sell at cost or below, or so I'm losing money on any anything I'm selling on there. <laughs> so I, I sell my stuff to break even on Foodie Friday. So I most, mainly break even, and then I get free snacks. So I had extra snacks. So I came down to the, I brought it down to the 127 sale. You know, you I gotta say they didn't taste anything like banana bread. I tasted some banana. It doesn't taste yeah, like your, your mom's bread. or grandma's banana bread. It's not like that kind of banana. It's like a it's, it's like an Asian dessert type thing. I don't. I mean, I'm not gonna were help. Were they cream filled? The <laughs> I had like I'm a little bit of cream case against Mike. They literally had like a skin <laughs> <laughs> and maybe veins. Whatever. Uh, well, just to put it out there, all of them went. Because I didn't get to taste one, and then yeah, when I went to go get one, they were all gone. In my, they're sitting on my counter right now. Uh, did, you, did you bring them, you them back? Them. You grab like three of them. Uh, did you take them out of the box that was Carrie's? Yeah, because Carrie left his box. We got movies too. We got we we got to get into. They're going in his box. I'm shipping stuff oh. to him. So we yeah, got he probably didn't want them. <laughs> he, maybe <laughs> that's Carrie's nice enough to come buy stuff for my whatnot. Then I'm pretty sure he first he gave me a false address. And then I brought, I drove them all the way down to Kentucky, and then he left them there. So you must no, not have wanted have them. There's stuff to ship to them. That's why we have it. The they gave us two, that... they gave us two bags of stuff to ship to them. Okay. So the that's why. Thing is Dan, Dan, Dan being so worried about driving there, and he's like, "Oh my God, I'm like just out of fear." And Dan's the first one that messages like, "I'm home," and all of us are still on the road. But Dan oh, manifested right. some bad weather. Dan, so my ride down, had like the so, worst trip down. So I haven't just for just I've not left. I I think I said it a few episodes ago. I've not left my house, my area. I've been in my direct area for like the last seven years, and constantly I make plans to leave, and I never. I always chicken out. We're not. I don't chicken out. So two years ago, I was going to go to the reseller rally, or three years ago, twenty twenty. I bought tickets to the reseller rally, pre COVID. Oh, pre COVID. And I was I was excited to go. But by the time it you know it got rescheduled back then. Yeah, and when it came up, yeah. It, when it came up, the week I was supposed to go, I my dog died. And I just I just was emotionally wrecked. I couldn't go. Yeah. So and then uh last year, was it last year was the other reseller rally? Yeah. I was I was going. I, I was going because because I've been to Cincinnati before, it's not that far. Like it's it's a drive I can I've made and I can make, so right. I went to go get my car like put like get, make sure I can make it. I needed new brakes. I needed new tires. It ended up it was like nine hundred dollars in in maintenance before I even left. So like I, financially I couldn't like I just I had to make a decision and I didn't go. So anyway, I didn't go. You so then I got labeled like as crap, this, dude. huh. You made me feel like crap, man. Because like hey, you couldn't go because you were emotionally wrecked from your dog dying. Like my father in law died and I had a plane ticket like three days later to go I'm up sorry. there. Well now you're making me feel like crap. Man. And then Mike drove home to a freaking hurricane. What he no, 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 it, it, it missed us. It missed well, us. Well, did it didn't miss you. All right. Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, I then my yeah. so I left. I went this time and I left and the entire time down I raced against the thunderstorm. And I, I finally got caught by the thunderstorm because the, I I used my MapQuest app to get there and it had three different routes. Had, which I, you guys laugh at me every time. still around? We still. I mean, every, you guys keep saying that every week. Yes, MapQuest is still around. Right. It got me to and from. So I there's three you, routes. I my boys, <laughs> they know what MapQuest is. They have no idea what MapQuest is. Yeah, flip the paper. Yeah, it's all printed out. 
<laughs> I told my mom I use MapQuest. She's like, oh, you printed all this stuff out? But I'm just joking. She has my mom has the app too. It's probably who I heard it from. Tommy on the flip phone has two downloads and it's doing your mom. <laughs> like Dan, Dan, are you comping on your phone? He's like, no, I'm playing Snake. Like, what? <laughs> Whatever. Well, like I was thinking, like this was like the nightmare scenario for Dan. Like he's driving in a storm. He's like, I'm only like 15 minutes away. The power goes out. So he shows up and the power's oh, out. Yeah, but before I got there, though, so there's three routes to take. And one of them was going down through Louisville and it said tolls. And then if I don't take tolls, I, it was like an extra half hour. And here, like the Skyway for Chicago is like 6 or $7. So I was like, oh, I'll save that money and I'll yeah. just go around the toll road. So when I went around it is when I finally got the, the storm caught up to me. So I'm like on these back roads. I'm in this town. I don't even know what town it was. It was in the back roads and I'm just driving along. All of a sudden it got so, I, it got so dark. It was like pitch black outside. And I look behind me and there's a car pull like coming up. And then right behind the car is a semi truck. And then it just started pouring and I could not see in front of me. There's no place to pull over because it's just a lane coming and going and there's a ditch and that's all I could, and I could just see the white line on the road. And I drove that forever. And then when I finally got out of the rain, I had to take a right. And then when I did that, the storm was moving that way. And the storm just started right back up on top of me. And then I finally got to the, the toll. I had to pay the toll. Then I ended up paying the toll anyway. So I drove over a bridge and through a mountain. And then I got stuck. I missed. I had to go through a roundabout. I got stuck at a Panda Express, and I sat there. Stuck I was in a Panda Express. Yeah, yeah. I was in the parking lot, and then the rain stopped, so I ran inside because I had to use the restroom. And while I was inside, it started pouring again, and I was just standing there, like it was. It was. They, they were blowing the doors just run open. Back out of your car, huh? Just run back out of your car and get wet. I can't run. I have flat feet. <laughs> And I've been in my car all day. I could not. I couldn't walk. Okay, walk in your car and get wet. Damn. It was. It was pouring in the there was I got, a thunderstorm. I got a question yeah, for you. Then. You're like was that like a the nightmare scenario for you when you pulled up to the Airbnb and because the power was out, we were all sitting outside like we were waiting for you. Yeah, it, it, I pulled the, the the drive into the Airbnb. I thought I was driving into my murder. This is in the backwoods. <laughs> And there's just nothing but branches everywhere. Then I pull up, and everyone's just standing there looking at me. <laughs> I mean, it's starting to get warm inside. So yeah. Oh, y'all look, y'all look like you, you haven't seen anyone in days. Just <laughs> oh, who's that over the mountain there? Well, the best I was part thinking about that when you were walking up. We're all just like standing out here, like like. And then the I, fi I finally meet you home. guys, and the first thing my my podcast friends do is like deuces. We're going up to Walmart and looking. Looking for some stuff, and that's we we had to go get candles. And there was candles in the dress. house. There were six candles no, on, like, was, on, on, on like a ski. It was underneath on like the a... underneath next to the underneath uh, the cabinets next to the refrigerator was about uh, a stack, about four high of the of candles. Did you inventory the Airbnb, dude? He did. He, he found everything. I went through and looked for stuff. I needed stuff. So I wanted to see Dan's, what list, over there. Dan's listing stuff on the air from the Airbnb <laughs> on eBay and we're there. Yeah. Kevin probably didn't get his deposit back at all. Like <laughs> no, because I was looking for uh after after the uh second night. It's the second night we made uh dinner. We made uh tacos. Thanks to uh thanks to Dan. Dan Dan. I had I didn't have anything to put the tacos in, so I Put them in bread solo cups. That was the furthest thing from a humble brag I've ever seen. <laughs> thanks, thanks, thanks to Dan. Thanks to Dan. Good old Whoever Dan. that guy is. Uh, you mean thanks, thanks to Reseller Leftovers podcast, right? Yeah. They, they sponsored leftovers. that dinner. Yeah. Yeah. I almost what burnt the Airbnb down, so that was fun. Yeah. Mike and Joe didn't get to witness that. <sighs> so, what anyway, anyway, really you more, well, down? you guys were doing your. Private pick. I I grilled some chicken and I caught the barbecue grill on fire and it was a big old nice. inferno and it was fun. Everybody panicked. Thought for sure the place was being burnt down. 
Yeah. Right. So, so back to Dan, like running from the nothing on the never ending story. It's just <laughs> life altering storm and then getting to the thing. It, it was a bad <laughs> storm. No one's going to believe me. Kevin was picking me up at the time. So it, the only good thing is I got to record you meeting Kevin for the first time ever. And uh -huh. I didn't hear that story. Uh, I don't, I don't know. How do you want the story to go, dude? I'm thinking like Celine Dion. Like that, <laughs> my heart will go on. <laughs> or do you want like the uh what what's the one from uh the the race chariot chariots of fire? I don't know that one. I was it was da, 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 da. I was very I was very nervous to go and I had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun. So. Dude, I had the most fun playing poker. Like playing poker was a blast. Seeing Dan with his like poker face on, and he's like professional oh. dealer, just like, mm -hmm. and then it was not like that. Money, that was kind of fun too. Well, I'll tell you what my favorite part is, and then I'll tell you why you guys ruined it for me. I know my favorite part was eating dinner every night with people, and so the last night I was so excited to do it. And these three people go on a private pick, and then they come back and they all stand outside, just gloating all over their score. Why we just stood in there looking at ourselves? Oh, it was a draft. They did a draft ourselves. Yeah, it was, it was. I was the cameraman for the draft. They they put yeah. everything they picked down on the ground and they drafted it. And Jimmy got Jimmy got a few scores for uh, not being able to make it. What, what was the yeah. mic micro knots? Is that what it was micro called? Micro knots, and I got a and I got a catcher's mitt too. Yeah. Appreciate that, guys. Yeah, well, I, I've never even heard of the Micronauts, but that was one of the items that I picked. Of course, the item that I really picked, uh, Rod took that, the dang lantern. Oh, that yellow lantern? Yeah, yeah the German lantern. Dang it. Yeah, dude, one of these figures by itself, they, they could sell for like $20 and $30, huh? And what, the Micronauts? Of, yeah. I, mean, I got to get into that bag. If there's anything amazing worth a lot of money in there, I'll let you know about it. I'm not going to give it to you. What, what is a Micronaut? <laughs> <laughs> I'll rub it in your face. You didn't get like a, they're just like vintage action figure robot characters. Like it's kind of like a mm. generic Voltron slash Robotech type. I don't know character. what any of that stuff is. So. Oh well, then. Well, well that, okay. So, so oh, that's the that's good. the one thing I learned about coming to this thing. So I went I, I went to this thing thinking I wasn't I was like gonna buy stuff, but I, I found out quickly I don't know anything about anything. Like I'm so used to just selling like bread and butter clothing. When I did the like, so the first, the first day, if you've never been to one of these sales before, uh, I, like I didn't really know what to expect. So the first morning I wake up and it's just chaotic. Everyone's just like fighting over the bathroom to get ready to get out of there. And well, there so only, I just was like, there was only two bathrooms, so that that was the and like what there's like at least. At least ten people in the house at one time it was like two or three crazy. fights broke out over the bathroom, like physical altercations. Yeah, are you serious? Mm -hmm. or... no. I just stayed in my bed. Oh, just... yeah, it's like... <laughs> well, because because gonna... well because Jimmy's like I gotta go to the bathroom, I gotta go to the bathroom, and then you didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to do, and it wasn't like I could just go outside. There was no toilet paper outside. <laughs> Although There's that a... ended up that ended up being a big thing at the end of the week. Uh, we kind of ran out of toilet paper, and who saved the day? Dan saved the day, or we yeah. say leftover resellers. So. Oh, you guys! I was prepared, so I've never stayed in an Airbnb before. I didn't know what they do, so I brought everything I could possibly yeah. need. I had everything. I had right bedding. Here. I had bedding. I had pillows, toilet paper. I brought towels, wash rags, toothpaste. I brought two toothpaste. I brought two toothbrushes. In case I dropped one, because I was scared I was going to drop one, and then I didn't want to use my finger to brush my teeth. So I had two toothbrushes. I brought two things of deodorant, two loofahs. Wait, why? Why two things of deodorant? In case I lost one, and one was new in case someone forgot one. He brought a hair comb, even though he doesn't need it, <laughs> just in case his hair grew out. In there. case someone needed a brush, I had scissors. You brought a brush. You brought a hairbrush. I brought a pill container in case someone needed to put out their medication. He brought a doggy bed, and strangely enough, we ended up having a stray dog that we adopted. Yes. So we're oh, we're all over the place here. Let, let, let's go. So the first day that Dan was there, he ended up you, – you, you took the yard sales off, right? 
and went to. Yeah, when I got up, when I woke up and I saw, because I wanted to get up with every, I got up when everyone else did and I saw how the chaos, I decided I was going to stay home. Well, I was kind of leaning towards <laughs> staying back and I was going to go thrifting and then go to a, uh, um, uh, I was going to go find the grocery store. I wanted to find an Aldi. So I stayed back and I went to a thrift store. But it was, was there an and then, Aldi? Huh? Was there an Aldi? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right up by, right by the Chick Fil A, um, right up the street, less than ten minutes from the place. So I went to, I wanted to check out a thrift store. I've never, I've only been to thrift stores around my area, because I mean, I mean, obviously, I just, I just told you, I've never, I haven't left my house since, since I started thrifting. Huh? Seven years since you left your house. Yep. Your area. Why that? It's not that. It's you funny. got lost trying to find a thrift store. You right? You were trying to find the. Well, the, yeah, I was gonna go. I had a few thrift stores. I mapped every place. I mapped the places mapped I wanted to go. To. So when I was going down there, I was gonna. I was gonna stop and thrift on my way down at a few thrift stores. But I was racing that storm. I didn't go to those. So I was. I had a few picked out. So I, I went to one thrift store and then I left to go to the second one. And the address I got there on MapQuest, but it kept on having me turn in a circle. And I could not find the thrift store, so I left. And I didn't, I was mad that day I didn't find didn't it. Didn't Jay Ride end up finding that thrift store? Yep, Jake J uh, Ride flips. He found. He went to that thrift store, took a picture of the thrift store, and sent it in the group text. And I said, I, I mean, I didn't say this to you guys, but I said it in my head, that's the exact picture that I saw on Google of the thrift store I wanted to go to. So then I found where it, I can't believe where I when you pull up. I don't remember the street, but you pull up to this place and you take a left. The the Goodwills is literally on the corner, and I completely missed it. I don't know how I missed it, but so that was like the last day. The so I went, I thrifted and went shopping, and then I came home my first day, and I was literally by myself the whole day because you guys had told me people come home around two and are hanging out, and it was like five, four, five, yeah. six o'clock when people started Picking showing up. A little out of control. So I was very bored by myself and i and i felt bad i felt like you guys were gonna think i i was like a loner like a, just a, a lone wolf hanging out by himself so <laughs> what's not a lone wolf you're a cool cat uh, I've, uh, yeah i've never, never looked at dan and thought there goes the lone wolf <laughs> <laughs> just out there marking his territory howling at I mean, the moon probably, you probably peed on some goodwills or something didn't you dan so you're like my yeah. pot <laughs> no, no, no J ride. No, just a little wet, <laughs> wet spot in the corner. So the first, uh, the first day, Rod, Rod picking and punching had mentioned you should just go. I told him I was bored, and because everyone was super nice to me, I was checking on me, make sure I was okay. I was very, I was very nervous and scared to come. I thought I was gonna, people were gonna think I was just some weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> we we you know you, Dan. We know we. we and I would, if I was watching me on this show, I would think, uh, you guys, I would think, oh, there's, there goes a weirdo right there. That's a, <laughs> that guy's there a weirdo. A weirdo. <laughs> I would, <laughs> so, uh, no, I, Brad, Dan, is, we, oh, Dan made that amazing dinner. We can't, like, you weren't weird. It was not amazing. It was a packet taco. So, so, it okay, the first amazing. night, when you're picking all day, it's amazing. The first, the yeah. first, the first night, uh, I, I didn't know what was going to happen. And I didn't want to spend okay because I, I like I'm scared I'm gonna like not have enough money for the like the time like you know what I'm going like that I was worried about finances like I've been worried about this since we decided I don't remember when this became a thing that I was going to this thing and I was worried about like making money for it the whole time I've just been stressed out I wanted to go and get it over with so I didn't have to worry about the money anymore just the money it was just constantly about the money stressing out all the time listening well, you, like crazy you can't do that. Yeah, you, you have to treat it like it's like a Vegas vacation. That's the last vacation you went on was Vegas. Well, off of Georgia, you're just going out there. You're going to spend some money. You're going to have some fun. Well, you're going to hang so, out with friends. But like, okay, uh, I but my life, my reselling. I mean, is is like I, I feel like I, I don't I don't like not make money, but I I like basically am like it's like paycheck. You don't know what well, you told us about your money. whatnot business model, so that. <laughs> that doesn't. Yeah. No, that's what I'm saying. I mean, I'm not saying I don't. So make my winner money. takes for a loss. I, I have when I went <laughs> to work. I do. <laughs> when you go to a job, you get every two weeks. If as long as you show up, you usually just get a pay. You get a paycheck. 
Yeah, like I'm, I'm not saying that's the way you should work, but that's you know you got a paycheck coming. When you're reselling, yeah. you got a list and you got to get the stuff listed. You got to ship the stuff. You got to buy find stuff that people want to buy. And I you just I'm always worried about like like I just got paid from eBay yesterday. So like my you know I mean most of us did if you get paid weekly. Your your balance is like it's basically I mean I think it's like sixty bucks right now, like you don't have any money coming in next week. So this week I gotta make money this week. So I'm constantly worried about that. And when you're worried, and then I gotta pay my bills. And when you start thinking I'm like I don't want to spend the money to, like when you take money out of your business or whatever, I'm scared to go. Sp- I don't know how much stuff's gonna cost me. Is what I'm is what I'm. Is that Momo listed behind you? Yeah, but he's overpriced. Joseph overpriced. Joseph. Well then, why the hell? Because I like him. I like him. He's really? a tax But there's got to be the, like a the guy, the guy who's complaining about needing money and like wanting things to sell has a giant Joseph behind him. Is it a full set? No, it's just Joseph. Just Joseph. That's it. You you, you favor the guy. I just Joseph. And you're like, I like him. The sale. You don't even have baby Jesus, dude. Yeah, well, you need I, baby Jesus. I found him at the bins. I found him at the bins right there. I know. Just sell Joseph. Send him down the road. He ain't got. Maybe he'll be reunited, reunited with baby. Uh, yeah, baby Jesus to marry. Go down to Walmart and pick up a box. Of Walmart. You're like matchmaker.com. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Well, no, I there's never like a threshold. There's like, like I know I don't have a guaranteed paycheck. Like if I went to punch a clock for forty hours a week, but there I have a number in my head that. I always meet like and I can guarantee th- that I'm going to at the worst, I'm going to make that number. But like, if you've you never, never been to a sale like this before, you don't know what your number is that you need to go. So I was right speculating yeah. the whole time about how much money I'm going to need. How much money am I going to spend sourcing? Like I, I don't have like a budget because I don't like going thrifting. I just, if I need to buy something and buy something and my, I'm constantly worried about if I do make some kind of contact and, can make some big score. I won't have enough money to buy it, but just like randomly going thrifting and going to the bins, oh, I the don't gas worry. I'm the scariest part for you, huh? The gas is the scariest part for you because it's like you don't even know how many miles you get on the highway because you never take it. I made a well, it was it was one tank <laughs> home every on the way down. Every time I stopped, I stopped, I stopped and I filled up uh one time and then. I, every time I was out and about driving around, I st- I filled up my tank. And then when I came home, I left. When I left there, it was one tank to get me home. And I just I just filled up my tank this morning. I had an eighth of a tank by the time I got home. Oh, that was driving around yesterday. Well, not dry. you driving. Drove- a, you driving a freaking big rig or <laughs> what? a tank? Like, what, yeah. Like, it, it didn't even take me half a tank to get home. I don't feel like. Well, you're the closest. You're closest. the closest. You were the closest. Right? You were like you were three, three and a well, half like, hours, wasn't it, Jimmy? Yeah, mine was like five hours. hours. Hour Actually, and a half. Four hours exactly. Four. Hour and a half. That's sixty. Like you say, I was going. Oh, I was going like seventy miles an hour. So it's like an extra seventy hundred mile. Like, and... yeah. yeah, you're right. All right. <laughs> yeah, it was great because I, I left two hours after Rod, and then he called me during the trip and. Uh, he was going to get home an hour after me. I was like, yeah, Southern Alabama doesn't sound that bad now, does it? <laughs> That's what they like to call Southern Alabama. I live in Florida, but they they say it doesn't count. It's Panhandle. Oh, you're you, oh, you live on the Panhandle? Yeah, I live near Destin, just north of Destin. Like in, in Panama City Beach in Pensacola. Oh, so you, did you, did you do spring break? Do I do spring break? No, yeah, I'm, yeah. Spring break. I'm too old and too old, Dan. You're never too <laughs> old to go spring breaking. What? Yes, you are, That's it, Dan. Next next year, we're going to Florida spring break. That's actually what the kids tell you when you're at spring break. They're like, "What are you? You're too old to be here. What are you doing here?" It's actually going to be the care. first reseller leftovers meetup. Is going to be a spring break in what? Like I don't Florida know, might be too far. <laughs> like we went to about the exact spot. I I was driving home. I made one stop and then I just powered through it and made it home in like five hours. And just fly, Dan. I've just, just oh, no chance I'm getting on a plane ever <laughs> again in my life. Just bring your mom so you feel <laughs> safe. Well, who's going to watch my dog? Who's going to watch the, bring the dog? My mom, my, I don't know. My mom looks at me different now because she came and picked up Dodger when I left. 
and I was crying because I didn't want to give her my dog. I was so upset to leave him. <laughs> but, but I've seen it firsthand because eBay the dog. We we could talk oh, a little wait. bit about eBay the I, dog. Okay, I did a. I even got eBay. Oh, there's eBay. So it's guys, this is eBay the dog. For those of you yeah. listening, yeah. Uh, if you're if you're if you're not if you're not wa- if you're watching, you can see eBay the dog. Dog showed up on our door. What the like the second night, right? Third night. Yeah, yeah. second second Girl. night. She's like, I, I think it's a girl. I didn't look. Did you guys look? It is a girl. It was girl. a girl. Ah, the sweetest, the sweetest yeah, dog. Literally the sweetest dog. The sweetest. And Dan know. was instantly emotionally attached to this dog. Yeah. I couldn't even. I couldn't even go outside to see her because I. I just was. She was such a sweet dog. Yeah, she was. I, I made sure before we left that she had as full of a belly as she could possibly have. She got a lot. And Dan of, cried when he said goodbye. Dan I cried. felt. I was. Oh my god! I would not stop. Like. Dan I sacrificed would... a blanket. He gave a blanket to the dog. It was yeah, the blanket I bought. He loves oh, yeah. his loves dog. Like that was everybody fell in love with that dog. It was the sweetest dog, and she was like just hanging out, like like she was part of the eBay crew. That's why her name was eBay. It was mm-hmm. cool. Yeah. So I gave her a bunch of grilled chicken, a lot. <laughs> My overcooked, burned down the house grilled chicken. That was good. I enjoyed that. It was good, that. dude. It was not overcooked nor burnt. It was delicious. Because uh, I didn't panic on huh, Dan. I was mad, but I didn't panic. I got that stuff. Well, he started the throw, he started throwing the chicken into the to- the to- tub. Yeah, yeah. That you know, <laughs> uh, I always clean a gas grill before I use it. Clean that bottom tray so you don't get that inferno. Man. And I was like, ah, this should be fine. No, the inferno it, it adds to flavor. All that all that stuff on the bottom caught fire, and we were like. Yeah, that's good. So that's that was good fun. stuff. Fun yeah, for the kids. Good. Tacos were good. I don't have Spaghetti any hair on my wrists anymore. <laughs> we, we had we had some good meals. I'm a little ashamed that we didn't take advantage of uh, Kevin a little more and make him pay for meals and stuff. But oh, I mean, whatever. <laughs> well, yeah, thankfully, yeah. I got payment in all his recording equipment that he left behind. <laughs> That's right. You're, you're keeping all that stuff? Heck yeah, I am. Actually, you can find it on shopcommons.net. It's a lot. Yeah, he, 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 a lot. he never wears a chesty. He doesn't <laughs> wear knockoff bring it then? headphone. Uh, what do they call them? Air, airbuds, Air, AirPods. AirPods, and a chest yeah. mount, and a little stand, and a charger. Yeah. yeah. And someone. It wasn't a stand. You ever seen those four step things that they use at the little doctor's office? Oh, that's what that is. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's a gynecologist tools. <laughs> uh, dude, I just said doctor's office. Why you got to take it to the next Whoa. level, Jimmy? Just <laughs> yeah, a little, Jimmy, heck, little mystery. Down? Now he's I'm writing gonna... stuff down. He wasn't writing stuff down until you said down, <laughs> God, please. That's what you just said. That's what that tool no, is. No, I said doctor's office. Oh, okay. My bad. <laughs> like someone left. Milk. Did you, like you know found that first. big old like coffee maker that somebody left? Were you there, Mike? Uh-huh. When yeah, someone yeah, was yeah. doing the final, yeah, walk, Jay, she found like the giant. Like, it's a blanket Wait, is maker, this, oh, maker. It's a bowl. Oh, you're dude. talking about the walk. I thought you meant like at a thrift. At a, I mean a garage sale. No, I mean Sonya, inside of. Like, shout out to Sonia. She she like went through, made sure everything was clean. She pulled a couple sheets and stuff, and she was like searching for anything that anybody left to make sure they got it. But we could not bring that with us because it was like this giant. Like what oh, was didn't it? Bring it? It's a Black and Decker space maker. Black and Decker Black. space maker, like coffee maker slash was mixer it slash tele. Was it yeah, white? yeah. Oh, that yeah, was yeah. J rides. Where was it at? I don't know. Sonya's was like, man. "Who left this?" And I, was I like, would have brought know. that back with me. Is it worth money? We were loaded. Like we because we uh, had about 60, 60 bucks. You can get the. Oh, I would have brought that back. You should have, but the I would have like, made room for sixty bucks. Yeah, you know, I had to leave it. Like we already had two of J Ride's boxes, and we had a two IKEA bags full of Dawn and Carry stuff. We had no room. Like we were loaded down, and so like it's not gonna make it. Like it's gonna have to stay. So yeah, sorry, J Ride, if you're listening. We left your coffee maker there. That that's open box and uh, brand new in the box. Does that say two hundred something dollars? Yeah, 
Oh boy. Two seventy four. Why can you not do it? Why well, on my phone I do it? So it's worth two hundred seventy dollars and I left it. Yeah, way to go, Jimmy. No, no, no. That, that's in the box, dude. Oh, that's brand uh, new. All right. But what yeah, like what do you yeah. think? You get at least like fifty percent or sixty yeah, percent of like retail? I literally you know no, like, no, no. It, all it'll of us be, were be like a sixty to eighty box depending on condition. But there's some of them that have been recalled because uh when you pull the coffee pot out, it what held it in there would cause the coffee to splash and it would oh, burn people, they'd drop it, glass there you go. break it. Sleep, sleep better tonight, Jay Wright. It had a recall. So, <laughs> no, 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 not that model. I don't think. Yeah, not that one. That one's it's, perfect. It's a, it's, Although it's you a, could have done a TikTok about it being a recall, and then that would have went viral. Yeah, but you but could here, have done a TikTok tell what, for it. Tell you what, I mean, worst, worst case scenario, just don't put the model number. Oh, yeah. oh. Burn people on purpose. I got you. It's their operator error. Who cares? It's there for, <laughs> they know what they're buying. Uh, trust me, nobody's on eBay looking at space makers or coffee makers without knowing. That, Without knowing hey, that this, they could get this, burned, this, yeah. <laughs> a little old lady at McDonald's, heck, anybody can get burned. She sued them, the one, yeah. But what if she sues you? She can't. Do I you have an LLC, LLC, folks? Uh, I always worry about that. I always worry yeah. that someone's gonna wear a pair of shoes and they're gonna blow them out. But <laughs> happen to me, it could be. To me. <laughs> They be work. They go to work. They buy a new pair of shoes. They go to work, and then the first second they do, the heel just rips, and then they're wa limping, walking around all day because one of the heels broke off. And one of my worst taking... sales ever was a pair of dance goes to a, like a nice nurse that they oh, she warm to work, and they sh they they were dry rot. Dry rot it fell apart as she was walking. I just found some dance goes this weekend. Make sure they're not dry Check rot. Check your dance goes look, for dry look, rot, folks. Look how nice these look. Yeah, those are those are like pearl opal opalescent or whatever that is. Look at these. Yeah. Iridescent, opalescent, all those fun words. They're beautiful. <laughs> they're Damn, I, I had my nose right inside. I was smelling them right there. Are you who got you the crocs? Did Joe get you crocs? Joe got me crocs. Are you keeping those? I can't keep them. I think you I should have just I told why you. Why did you snip the shoes? Did you huh? just snip the shoes? Why why do we why do we Damn, oh, he's sniffing right now, full sniff. <laughs> he stayed there for a couple of seconds. You later. don't find these, you don't find shoes like this. Look, let's see good. the price tag on the bottom. Where'd you get that? I don't find them in this good condition up here in Indiana. How's the heel look? How's the heel look? That's where they usually wear. No, like on the what? inside. Sorry, right here, where the human. What? Back there, they usually rub right there against the back of the heel. They look like they've never been worn. Never been worn. What? What do they smell like? Dance? They've never been worn. They look. They smell like they've never been worn too. I think they're new. I'll probably. Well, the bottoms look like they've been worn. Like <laughs> I've, I've, I've never, been I've never even heard of them. Like you've uh, never heard of dance go. Never heard of dance go. Or Sunitas. You don't do a lot of clothes or shoes though, do you, Mike? Yeah, I'm Mike. What do you too. sell? But now that we're 38 minutes into our uh, reseller podcast, mm -hmm. we should probably talk about this is the portion of the reseller leftovers where we talk about reselling leftovers. No, I didn't sign up for that. <laughs> oh. uh, Let's try. No, uh, I, I try for video games and uh, toys, action figures, and anything else like a heck. Uh, anything that I can bring me money. I bought some glass this weekend. I bought a tool. I bought a big old 36 inch pipe wrench. So. Wow. How much that suck away? Uh, I don't know. I, I didn't even bother checking, but it sells for decent money plus shipping. Thing is, I think we saw it sold for uh, up to eighty plus shipping, and it only cost me five bucks. So I was like, "Wait, you right. bought it? You bought that at the the highway sale this weekend?" Mm -hmm. and it was on. It was on Saturday, dude. Saturday was horrible for me. I bought two things. I was picking with Rod and Kevin, and they were just like. Crying about where I was parking or how I was driving, and I got. I understand. I had to drive with Joe one day. Now. Friday was amazing. Oh, I was like, driving around with Joe. He no, was no, whine, no. whining about Dude, everything I was doing. It. Joe, Joe, and I did good uh, the first day. Like I, I picked with Kevin in the morning, and Joe and I went somewhere, and then I ended up buying that BMX, and we found some other good stuff, and we had a good time. But anytime yeah. with the others, like sure, they're giving you a hard time, but it, it's hard. Almost, almost like Dan, you know, almost just crushed my soul, and I started crying. <laughs> I, I was just, uh, 
You didn't care. Yeah, I did not. I did <laughs> not. I told him to shut up. Complaining. Mike, you don't come across as someone that's sensitive like me. Oh, I'm very sensitive, dude. I'm very, very sensitive. I'm, I'm overly sensitive. I'm just, Especially I'm when just, it comes to people editing his content. I'm really, really sensitive. Uh, I mean, it's not as bad. As, I mean, I'll take editing my content over having to sign a contract, but uh, it's just what I do. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Well, it's at forty I, minutes in uh, ten seconds. Yeah, well, I, I had to go out. Leave it. Leave it. I, I got to go out. With, I got to go out with Dan to yard sales this weekend. You're the only one that came yeah. out yard selling with me, Joe. Well, I did. And I Everyone else there. was scared that I was going to find everything. <laughs> you know, like they're just afraid I was just going to gather up all the goodies. And no, I'm just... scared to get you two hours away from home. Oh yeah, the, yeah. The last day you guys went to, I'm like, I'm not going that far. But yeah, <laughs> yeah. I went. Jo, Joe, Joe. Well, Joe was kind of. I, I feel like I kind of forced Joe to come with me because uh, I was going back. You Rod did. had you my did. first day. My first what, day, Rod had mentioned, he's like, like, "Just drive on your own, and when you're done, just go for a couple hours and come back." So I said, "Okay, I can do that." And then I was going out on my own, and I looked at Joe. I go, Joe, why don't you come with me? And then when I'm done, you can just go. And he's like, okay. "Get in the car, Joe." I felt I bad. Like, I felt bad. I, I was like, absolutely, I'll go with Dan, and which I did. We went with Dan, but continuing Dan's bad weather story is we're driving out. Whatever, I forget where we were going. Where were we going? North. We're we going north, right? I don't. Know. I don't know where we were going. We're going to Danville. We're going to yeah. Danville. Yeah, you wanted to pick going, Danville with oh, Dan. Yeah, we're going to Danville, huh. and we get on the highway, and it just turns pitch black. I yeah. mean, it, it, uh, it's seven a.m. Or no, it was probably a little bit earlier than that. And it just, I'm like, damn, we're not out running this storm. And we actually had to pull over. It was raining so bad. Guess who did out run that storm? Yeah. These guys ran that, yeah, out it, ran that storm. Yeah. But we actually, we pulled over. We waited a little bit. And uh, we hit some sales. Dan's out there negotiating. You know. I, I, I feel like you two had, you guys have been co-hosts for many a years and many on different shows too, you guys had to go pick it together. Like it had to happen, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Like it was meant to happen. Well, Joe, Joe, was, Joe Dan Drew, freedom. you guys probably all in the other room and drew straws and they're like, all right, don't go with Dan. With Dan. No, 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 everyone was like, Dan, Joe's no Dan the longest. He can go, you can go with him. <laughs> Joe knows how to contain there no, Dan. There was no straws being drawn. I just joking. said, anybody going to pick straight. with Dan? All of us said no, except Joe. <laughs> and then that was it. it Joe's was too nice. It was a, no, dude. Yeah. I didn't know. You had to go pick, pick with other people. Who did, who did you pick with the first day, Joe, the first morning? Not 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 before I got there, but when, when me, Joe, went, John. Oh, it was me, Joe, and John. Yeah. Cincinnati picked. And Tim. Tim. And did no, Tim no, no, no. I'm talking the day after. The day after. Oh, I went with uh, Steve. Oh, yeah. yeah. Kevin's mm-hmm. uncle. You went with Steve on day in the two morning. and day four. Yeah. Okay. See, I didn't know that because uh, Kevin went with me. We met up at the Mexican restaurant. That's what. Yeah. We, that's what we went picking afterwards. Yeah, that's when I hopped in with you. Yeah. yeah. That's what I, was I, trying to I had a margarita out. at that restaurant. It's pretty good. And then Jimmy and I did. The second, well, I, I say my second. It was my second. Friday, right? It was Friday. Friday, Friday. Friday. That was Jimmy and I, like, from the get-go, like, we were out the door. I told Jimmy, I'm like, we're going to come downstairs. I'm going to come downstairs. We're going to walk out the door. Let's go. And we did. And we beat everybody by 10 Man, or 15 we were minutes. so lucky because we, we outran the storm. Like, we got far enough south that we outran that storm. And, and we only had to stop for, like, what, five minutes from the um, rain? Like, Well, we were me and Joe picked time. smarter, not harder. Right? Is that how, is that how that goes? Pick smarter. Yeah, we definitely we definitely picked what, smarter. What right? made it smarter? Found a couple church sales. We found a bathroom in a church sale. Ooh, a bathroom? Yeah. yeah. Did y'all go to Danville? Y'all went to Danville? Yeah, we yeah. made it up that far. Yeah. Yeah, we hit a couple barn sales. That's the thing. So if I, I I didn't really know what to expect, and it was basically kind of. I I realized that driving around here by myself, I I don't know how to yard sale because I. I, it was just like picking around here. Like I kept on like, this is just like home. So I was like, that's how it is in my home. So I guess I'm just, I don't go to enough sales. And I was, I thought we we're going to go up one way and then come back one way. 
Joe's got me shooting across highways. I'm yeah, that's zigging and zagging yeah. all day. Yeah. Well, I, I figured we would be able to hit and you know as we're as we're going past them, you know, and just figure it out that way. And then, did you say that uh, Dan is a good driver? Dan is the most cautious driver I I ever driven with. I mean, so he, not good. Not he, good. No, no, he, no he, he not is, ideal for picking. <laughs> little old Asian ladies are like honking at him to get out of the way. <laughs> All right. Oh, what? <laughs> it's okay. Um, he, yeah, he, he's very cool. He is laughing at that joke. Okay. <laughs> and Dan likes to, Dan oh likes to find his way. Dan likes to have an, ex, uh, an escape plan. Like yep. he, he, need, he needs to know how he's getting an out. Plan. Yeah. He, yep. he needs to know how he's getting out. Like he, very cautious about turning into people's yards or, oh, you know. No. Yeah, in Kentucky, you got to be ill. You got to be. But th that's where the barn was. They had these big barns or whatever set set up in their in their driveway. You had to go into their driveway, but he wanted to know where he had to turn around. So once we worked out those kinks, Dan parked the car. Well, dropped me off. He would park the car. And come, you know. So it got to be, it got to be, I, I stayed out way longer than I did. Joe and I ended up staying out the whole day. And I was only going to go for a few hours. And How do you, man? Day. Well, basically, yeah. we never ran into anyone that I could pawn them off to. So I was stuck. <laughs> so I, eventually, I gave up, and I would go. I was trying to, like, to give them to strangers. <laughs> and this guy ride with you. Have you met Joe? Joe's from <laughs> Philly. He's a YouTuber. You should take him. Is it anybody going north that could take Joe? <laughs> he, I thought I saw a post in the Facebook group. <laughs> but I would pull up. I would go to a sale. If... But then I saw a couple of sales that were like up hills, and I'm like, I'm not walking up those hills, man. No, no, so I told no. you, I'm like, I'll drop you off here. And then I met him at the end of the road. And I kept on pulling up far, farther and farther. Well, I got to so. say, Mike is an excellent. The, like, it's a, I'm going to go get serious for a second. Mike is a great picker in the fact that he will find the sales. Like, he's already, he's a good picker, but like, that ability to find those sales back, like the good sales back and off off the main path and stuff, like that's a big part of pick being a good picker. Yeah, mental like finding those sales, man. And like well, that one that we found. Them? How do you find those sales? Like? Following oh. signs, like get like so like see the stuff that I wouldn't do. Like he followed a sign, and then he was like, Well, let's go drive through this back neighborhood and go down. And then we found a moving sales sign, and we're like and that ended up being the best sale of the day. That that moving sale sign was not on 127. Like, it wasn't until we got back in there and he saw that sign. And then we, we followed that, there. Joe. We didn't do that. Yeah, we well, were we, way we, back we, in there. We were, on a, we were on a – the thing that we did is like we, we – you go by a bypass around Danville. So yeah. we avoided that. And then you come to an old Highway 27. And a lot of people will see two signs and say, okay, we're going to go down here and find this one cell. And then they come back out and want to go down. We skipped so much on 127. Yep. But we stayed on that old highway 127 that was in the back road. And it it basically, it would come down, like if 127 here, it would come down here and then meet back up, but then cross back over and go a different way. So we stayed just yeah. on the outside. We zigging and zagging. It, it, yeah, it points where we were like, and, and, off, and you had to go another mile off to get a to get to these sales, but it was plentiful and they were untapped. Like we, we went to so many sales that it would be like us and like another person. I mean a whole barn was just us that and one, another that's the one where that dog scared the living crap out of me because it said moving sale. So we're walking up to the front door. This lady opens up the front door and then out of nowhere from the side, this dog just woof, 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 woof. What? Yeah, we all walk back to the Jimmy's all game consoles like walking up. And I mean, this oh. was day two for them, day three. Yeah. And it just tells you like so many people had to have not gone there. I picked up a bunch of those. That's where I picked up those PlayStation games and everything. And Some really good titles in there too. So. Yeah. Joe, you uh, sounds like you should have went with them, not me. I found Carhartt in that that lot. That's that place too. I yeah, found dollar. A dollar. Dollar. All that FFA stuff. I mean, but we, but we, we didn't, hate, we didn't hate anything like that. You know, we we stuck one twenty seven. That's it. Bathrooms yeah, and churches. With, with safety ran. 
With safety Dan, you have to. Safety Dan. <laughs> oh, safety Dan. I like, Dan. I, I like Dan. Dan, we're part. You can you can take off your hard hat now. <laughs> <laughs> I told Dan he drives so good he should be like a driving instructor. I mean, that's ooh, you know. Maybe that's a little career choice for you. So there, what do you say, Joe? I'm not a good reseller. No, I'm not. Saying I stole that. a pair. I stole a pair of boots for forty three dollars this weekend. There you go. What and I was listing. I was listing. Were you guys listing this week? I was drafting. No. I was bad. I didn't list for almost I, two weeks. Do you list? No, not at all, dude. I got home on Sunday. I took the day off. I spent it with my wife. Uh, we we had dinner Sunday night. Went out to dinner with some my my cousin and his wife. The kids are in town. So we met them down at the beach and had dinner. And then yesterday, my wife worked a little bit. And I just hung out and spent time with her. Nice. Everything's still in my truck, dude. Like, oh. are you, you didn't clean it, clear it out yet? Not at all. Nope. It is nice and I secure. I listed a few things. I, I, I did drip. I couldn't sit there and watch Tim. Tim, over the years, you got to give him credit for it. That guy worked, went out the entire day, yard sale, and came home and started his drafts right, right away of stuff that he bought. So when I was sitting there, I felt like I was obligated to work, you know, sitting there with him. So I, I started a bunch of drafts. I did like – maybe 12 to 15 drafts. And I have about, I listed about 10 of those drafts that I, yeah, I felt the exact same way sitting next to Tim. So uh, I moved. I left the room. <laughs> I, <was> like, <laughs> <laughs> I sat like just was crap. I can, let me go feel happy in this other room. <laughs> Man, Tim took over that whole area though. Like he had that whole side of the, the dining area was Tim's, Mini little glass store by the by the end of the trip. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You get yeah, to see yeah. at these highway sales. You get to see a lot of you know the work that these other guys put in, man. That, yeah, that's what that's what I know is him. Uh, he, did, I, I watch how he did drafts, and then I'm a, I never got a chance to ask her, but Dawn Lady Arbitrage. I was I watch her sort through clothing, like two or three IKEA bags of clothing, a bin of hats, and a bin of toys, and probably less than an hour and I, I just was i never she was so into it doing it I, I couldn't even like i wanted to ask if that but i'm assuming she was like taking pictures of different things and i think she was making drafts and then i, I was mm -hmm. watching tim kind of doing the same thing like kind of taking maybe pictures and ready for whatnot too possibly yeah or maybe okay yeah maybe it was it was in, i was i feel like i i like i always feel like i'm working hard but like i don't know i don't i must not do i mean i'm slow like I couldn't. I don't process stuff that fast. So, no, Dan, we were Dan. I was like you. I wanted to hang out with my buddy Dan and yeah. Joe. So I wasn't working, and I was hanging out with my buddies. Yeah, I mean, I had stuff to list. Like the last, I, I, I was before I got there. I wanted to list five things a day, and I ended up leaving with only eighteen things pictured. So I was going to do like three listings a day, and I did that for like the first day or so, maybe two days, and then after that, I was I took like a day off. And then the final day, Saturday, I did 10 listings and I drafted three for the next morning. So in the morning when I woke up, I just listed my three items and then I haven't listed. It's today. It's Tuesday. We're recording. I haven't, I didn't list anything. I didn't, I've, I've got my shipping accomplished so far this week is all I've done. I haven't done anything. I did post a lot of TikToks while I was there. I was doing that. Yeah. I've been checking and it I'm, out. I'm going to be monetized start tomorrow. Really? Nice. Yeah, I'm, oh, yeah. I'm only like. 1500 views away and i've already gotten it only updates like once a day i can tell and so i've already got those views so tomorrow when it updates i'll be monetized on tiktok mike do you do tiktok no i don't even have it downloaded dude <laughs> i don't know what you're talking about man oh tiktok it's like this little platform it's kind of like i know what tiktok is dan <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. he's just, making, he's just making sure. Yeah, let's check it. Uh, out. She's going in the in depth. You see TikTok at this uh, social media <laughs> platform that that it was developed to steal your information. Yep, they got oh. it. They got all of mine. Yeah, they took it all. They, they I, I, mine, yeah. I don't really have anything important to. to They're really anything. concerned about all the toys I bought. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've considered. All right, Mike, you're in one. Yeah. You're in one of mine, so I hope you're all right with that. Oh yeah, I saw my TikTok. You're in one of the ones that was doing good yeah, too. I saw him. I saw him. Oh, yeah. Dang, did you tag me? 
I did. <laughs> okay. I mean, TikTok that you don't right have. There, you're, sit, you're standing right there in the thumbnail. So, no. Give me yeah, all those. It is, it is. All those TikToks, oh, you're releasing them as Instagram reels? Oh, or yeah, there you for. are right there. 17.6 17. 17. babies. Look at that, man. So oh, my God. Heck and, heck and Steve's going to come after me now. <laughs> kind of a gun. I've avoided that. Usually, I just get... Oh, you're in, the right, like, you're in the right spot to yeah. get avoided by that. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> heck and Steve's not worried about us. Yeah, he's not... <laughs> <laughs> That's good. We're, we're the leftovers. He's got plenty. He's got plenty of, you know, right people to go after. <laughs> but no, I, I've actually considered after talking to Jimmy, like him doing the TikTok and everything. The, the only thing is like building up the fan base. Like, how do you get that to get followers? And like, I'm, you got if you put together the right videos with the right hashtags, I've found. TikTok's not that hard. You got you got to put it together a decent little picking video. You got to use the right hashtags. Yeah. I mean, well, I you got to add on top of you're you're forgetting. You got to add on top of the fact that I hate people. No, that's right. not. So like, don't say that, Mike. <laughs> I mean, there's there's that's there is the dark side of TikTok. You could yeah, that's what I mean. There's room for you like, over there, Mike. There's room for you. And not not. I'm I'm not just out of the uh, off the cuff rude. Like if I don't like people, like I just I don't say anything. If I like them, I'll give them a hard time. <laughs> people on TikTok don't do that. And then like they just like they want to be a butthead, and then I've got to escalate it. It's you. It's you like someone is like you know like somebody breaks my pencil, and then I just go straight for their plasma TV or something, and just. <laughs> <laughs> Because that's the same thing. TV? <laughs> or plasma yeah, TV? Okay, LCD, <laughs> 4K, whatever. Come I on. Thought that that means that reminds me when we were out picking when I was out picking with Mike and that person, I thought for sure we were there was gonna be a fight. I thought Mike was getting out of the car. Because that guy he comes up, Mike pulls up behind him to park, and then the guy walks over to his truck and says, like, I'm leaving, you need to move. And so then Mike starts to move, and then the guy goes back in and starts shopping again. And Mike, hey, I, oh, if if he had disappeared further than the booth, he was there with his wife and his friend, and taking sweet time to get in the truck. But had he like disappeared behind that the person yeah. where they were paying a little tent right by his truck, I was just gonna pull up there and be like, "Dude, I'm not gonna play your game." It's like you're double parked. And I mean, it, it, how are you going to double park in a dirt driveway or gravel driveway? But he managed to do it. He just didn't have <laughs> enough room to, to get left or right of him. He was in the middle. I was just going to park behind him, and I didn't give a crap. Yeah. It was a showdown. Yeah. I was, it was tense. Yeah. Mike was very vocal, and that guy was, like, looking I'm talking, back, and we're like, come I'm, on. I'm talking, I'm talking like Dan and somebody on the other side of a tunnel. He yes. is not safety right. Dan at all. Yeah. <laughs> See, Dan, we, we, we didn't have to do that. Dan was caught. He was making sure people came. He was waving people through, you know, especially when we got on the streets. That, <laughs> there was was that Yep. He was making sure. I would sure pay money to see through. Dan out there with a whistle. <laughs> Uh, especially when we got we got it to the streets that had parking on both sides, you know, and then it was only open in the middle. He was waving trucks through on the other side coming. But we, we did okay. No, we had no road rage incidents with Dan. I was looking forward to them. Couple oh, couple, did you flip off couple grandma? borderline, borderline. Yeah, but nothing nothing out of the ordinary. I was trying right. to be on my best behavior. Yeah. You don't. Um, you shouldn't. No, these people are never going to see you again. That's what Joe said a couple times. Yeah. yeah. They, who cares? Who cares? I mean, worst case scenario, you're the last person they see. My mom. My, mom. I went on a, I, my mom said that to me before. They're never going to see you. I was, I was on a beach, and I didn't want to take my shirt off on the beach. And she's like, "They're never going to see you again. Just, just take your shirt off, Dan." Daniel, that's okay. Daniel, sure. Daniel, Daniel, or yeah, they will see you again because attractions happen when shirts come off. <laughs> and then you could get, I'm not even joking. Like, next thing you know, you could be hanging out with them for a long time, Dan. All right. Take a chance. All right. 
Yeah. As a fellow fatty, I can tell you there's always somebody worse <laughs> on the beach. And that's why I just don't give a crap. I mean, worst case scenario, a million people see me on TikTok and I don't give a crap. Okay. <laughs> I'm I'm a fellow fatty and I have like Frankenstein scars all over my belly. I've been cut open too many times to so people will literally be like, oh look, it's the old morbidly obese Frankenstein's here. <laughs> oh, Jesus. That's, that's why I'm not on TikTok. That's what people say to you. Yeah, you're, you're on, on TikTok. TikTok. You just don't have you're your own on TikTok. TikTok now, my you're famous. You're on, well, I, I mean, even said I, your name. I even said your name. But did you tag me? I'm wondering yeah, if I, I actually. You. I think I think I set it up and I just never used it. And if that's the case, then I just need to get on there and do it. I need to. <sighs> I need to take the old. I need to take the old Dan plunge and just get outside of my comfort zone. Oh yeah. And, well, I mean, if we're gonna go into the, I'm doing it because I learned uh, carry American arbitrage and American arbitrage cards. He's well, doing I thought really we agreed well. That we don't mention like more popular channels. I thought. My bad. So we can mention we, like we, J Ride for to We promote down, not up. We don't promote up. They don't. <laughs> All right. They're supposed in to promote case, down. We promote. Go check down. out. In that case, go check out the reseller clickbait podcast. <laughs> We're on. Hold on. Write the time down. <laughs> you better write that down. <laughs> <laughs> Keep that on there and include locker room while we're at it. Oh. Nope, that's them. <laughs> Every <laughs> week you're trying to. Now, Mike, you're jo Jimmy's been trying to start. A... I love. The... I was at the locker room. I think them too. I hope they know I'm joking. I talked about on the last part. I keep course. telling you, you better tell them you're joking. All right, that, Shane, that, I'm joking. I think we just do what it. about no, Ben? Good, Ben. No, I'm joking. Keep, good, we're keeping that in. We're keeping this good. in. This is stained. Okay, good. We, we don't. Joking. We don't know how to edit anyway. So I don't know how to edit anything. That's good. I'm not joking. Yeah, but we don't. I'm not looking for. Picking fights with other Fine. podcasts? Let's let's uh well, for no reason. No, Come keep on. it in. You need some beef, okay? Yeah, All right. start the beef. Yeah. You got the meats uh, from the what beef? <laughs> it's a battle of the second best podcast. Oh, we could we I could mean, start all of you. We could have a rap battle with one of them. I've, I'm always good for like an old school rap battle with another. I don't know how to rap. You know how to podcast. rap? I don't. It's the rap. Wait, Mike. So, who's the number one podcast? Trash Cat. Oh, how was it? How was it being on there? On a real episode? Was it? Yeah, dude. They cut out so much crap. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even say it I because you always just end up. You, get it out. Out. you want to go over everything about? that they cut out? No, Joe. Don't no, let him. Five, it's five minutes. Five wanna... minutes worth of stuff. It's five minutes. They told me it's, it's five like an minutes. hour and thirty episodes. Uh, Episode, so that's not bad. <laughs> I, well, I was quiet, part Dan. It's like anytime I open my mouth, they're like just wrote time down. <laughs> like, I, I, didn't say I am only I thirty like, minutes in. You haven't, you didn't really haven't said much. Uh, yeah, I was like, I uh, appreciate y'all having me on the show, and then Kevin just grabbed the pen, like Mike's talking. Let's like, <laughs> cut that talking. out. That's it. <laughs> they should have like, just ran a loop you. of you just sitting there. Yeah. Like the one episode with Kevin where he's just like, <laughs> <"Yeah."> <laughs> Somebody, uh, the, one of the first comments on it was like, Why is Mike so shy? I'm like, Mike's not shy. They just cut out the stuff when I was, when, when I wasn't shy, they cut it out. I mean, I, I don't know. But that's what I'm saying. Like, it, Trash Cat's not even the number one podcast, realistically. Like, there's, a, there's other ones that are reselling, but within our circle, like I, the, the closer knit part of it, yes. And then you have the likes of uh, y'all, and then locker room and uh, a clickbait island. And yeah, what's uh, arts new? Have you guys watched arts new podcast? You guys, none it. of us have uh, anything to worry about getting canceled if he's not getting canceled. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I haven't, I haven't cool. seen, I haven't seen one of his. Yeah, I mean, he's being himself. It's great. I love it, but there's, I'm sure. I'll tell you this. I, I, don't, I don't know if I've talked about this on some else, but I, I asked about it on whatnot when I became uh, part of the ambassador program thing. And You're ambassador said, of like, whatnot? Yeah. We got ambassadors yeah. everywhere. Oh, wow. Yeah. Is that where you need just an ambassador of Poshmark? It doesn't, you don't even have to run show to be an ambassador. They just Does need you to run one at a certain time. They're like, there you go. 
heard a little title. It, you bring you into like a little group and you can talk to people and all this other crap. I thought you so, were going to uh, they bring you into a little room and then they... <laughs> yeah, stuff like this. The so Illuminati. what did you have to do to become the whatnot okay. ambassador? Nothing, Dan. Just, I just had to go it, on a it, show. It, and it, it involves a little show. room and banana bread. And... Yeah. <laughs> we got a lot of ambassadors around here. Jimmy, we're, we're behind here. We're, I'm going to become... It doesn't, a, it, I'm telling I mean, you, you guys are selling eBay. That's it. You don't sell anyplace else. I mean, I have... Okay. Concierge on eBay, does that count as close to like an ambassador? Uh, here we go with the stupid concierge. <laughs> I, I, actually, I think they got rid of Well, I got a new phone, so I don't even know if they're on the app. Now. What is and a, what what is a whatnot ambassador? What does that mean? What is nothing. and why what did you have to ask him about? It means absolutely nothing. It's just a title. Mm -hmm. Why did you yeah. why did you get it? Because I did a show when they needed me to do a show. So they asked me to come on and then do a different oh. promotion. And I did something at Christmas where I included it on a video. That, and then I got, got right? paid some extra money to tie it in with another show. So Wait, they paid you to do it? Yes, they paid everybody that did this thing to do wow. it. Wasn't exclusive with they me. asked me too, and I just said I couldn't. I didn't know that's what okay. that was. Oh, Jimmy, you passing up on promotion? Yeah, well, I mean, I don't, I don't do a lot of whatnots. I had, I've done a couple, but I got... But they're, they reached out. I don't, so I don't know if I don't know if an ambassador is the correct word or something. I don't know what they do. I think Poshmark is ambassador. So what oh, you no, said yeah, you had to ask them, like you had to ask them if it was all right if you were being normal. Oh, no, no, no. So so you do this onboarding thing for uh doing part of the program and like trying to because you get a you get to talk to one of the representatives and they help you through different things. I know it's not concierge, but I asked him. I was like, "So, really, really, should be like I've done quite a few shows, but I don't even know. Like, there's no clear cut answer for like what you can do. You can you can do it where it says explicit content or mature audience only or whatever you want to say. But I was like, what are the cut and dry? I said, like, YouTube makes it simple. Don't say COVID's fake. Don't say the election was stolen. Like outside of that, like YouTube doesn't care. You can. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Like, uh, I, I said, I asked this representative, and I said, on oh, what not, what else? And she's like, that's about it. You know, they kind of just went by the same rules. Like, you have to understand that. I think there's a place for humor in a lot of the stuff that we do. Yeah. And I don't, I don't bend and break. If I, if I make a joke and it offends you, like that's on you. That doesn't necessarily mean that that's my view 100% of the time. And I kind of stand beside that. Uh, same thing with like comedians. I don't think comedians should be canceled. I, I want them to be able to exercise their freedom of speech and have a good time. And uh, That's what Joe's always fighting for, too. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I, I think well, Joe I think is a stand-up comedian by night, actually. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but uh, that, that's it. They just said, like, that's good. I just, I just want, I needed to know out of respect because of the people that I hang around with. Uh, I also have to be cognizant that I'm a representation of them. I mean, if we're in a video, I'm a representation of y'all. Like, I try and flex some somewhat <laughs> out of w what y'all want on your channel because it's what people want on their channels. Right. It's how they want to be perceived. And when I say that, I, obviously, you know, it's uh, more other people than just y'all. It's more so other people because having bigger audiences, you don't want to offend them. And Rod always says that I do a lot of jokes just to get a laugh out of the people that I'm picking with or something like that. And that's all good. But it, there's a difference in performing for the people that I'm with versus performing to the people that actually want to watch me or or they can help me grow. Gotcha. So, yeah. I mean, it. yeah, I mean, you don't have to not be yourself. I've, I've always said you can be yourself without being totally like crude and, you know, and you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. it's, it's, I, I don't know how to work. I, I have a lot of hard time putting things into words, what I'm trying to say, but you can still be yourself without cussing all the time. Yeah. 100%. I mean, like, I drop, I cuss. I'm not, I'll, I cuss a decent amount, but I'm still able to be myself on here without cussing every other word. 
I think not like me and Jim. I'm not like me and Tim. Me and Tim will Tim Tim like lives for it. Like Tim Tim and Tim and I can really get into it and just like it's just every other word. Right. And kind of, kind of like I'm damn trying. when he does. My yeah, dad, exactly. Stuck behind a grandma, yeah. Like, oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh now he's gonna write down the time. Gonna take out bad words about Dan. <laughs> oh uh do you guys have any returns this week? Oh return of the week. Yes, I got one right now. I got a stupid one right now. It's a Game Boy uh oh yeah, Nintendo DS carry case that I sold for a whopping ten dollars. Uh-huh. And I, I get a message. I got a return request, and the message is, I haven't even got this yet, but I don't want it. I'm hoping that I can just not accept the package, and it gets returned to you, and I get a refund. What? You're like, that's cool. No, you can't. How about no? How about no? How about no? That's my return of the week. I had, uh, I sold some, I sold a, uh, Remote control battery, nine nine point six volt battery. Uh, they bought it a on remote June. Con- a remote controlled battery, or remote a remote control, control car. for a car. car for like a, okay, battery, battery for a remote control. Yeah, yeah. like a remote controlled car battery. Uh, they bought it June 29th. and they opened the return yesterday, uh, August fifth, and. They have until June or August 26th to send it back to me. They bought it June 29th? Yes. Where was but it on? When did it get delivered? That bad I had it go. It goes, oh, it it goes, goes by delivered? Delivery date. Yeah, July July 5th. Was it new sealed? No. It was just like a whole <coughs> battery? Yeah. They said it doesn't hold a charge. Yeah, that was my, hmm. my return last last week was about that they returned it and it wasn't delivered do batteries still- like that have a serial number on it sorry I don't know. they they have a picture and the like the picture is they took a picture to send in their return and when i click on it i can't really do much with the picture but it looks like there's a line going up the logo and the the one i sent them doesn't have a line so i i felt like it might not be the same one and so I was like, it's not really worth I sold it for $15 and $5 to ship it. And I got it at the bins. So when I first got it, I was like, oh, I don't want this back. Like, cause I'm not going to sell it. If they're, I don't, I don't have a remote control car to test it to tell me if it was is working. So, I mean, they, I mean, I guess it could be right. right? I don't know. And, uh, I've sold those before. I've never, this is the first time I've ever had a problem with those. Uh, but anyway, when they send it back, I'm like, I'm probably just not going to do anything with it. But I kind of want to see if they actually send me the, the correct one back because I feel like they're not going to. Yeah, I had I had a return this week, but it was definitely my fault. It was a set of six uh, like votive candles from like Nine West or something. It was like so I, I opened a couple of or tried to open a couple of them. And they were sealed. Well, apparently, I didn't check one of them. So when the lady got it, she opened it, and one of the six were used. So I just told her to keep them, and I refunded it. So. Wow. But it was my fault. Mike, you have any returns? No. Do you have, do you have any sales, Mike? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I get some, I get some sales. Mike, do you just sell on eBay? I mean, yes, just eBay. Yeah, that's it. Facebook Marketplace occasionally. What I'm not sitting, occasionally sitting or no? Do you do what not occasionally? Bit, but, you know, what not? But yeah. I do, I do whatnot, and I do. Uh, now, do you do whatnot for profit, or is it more or less if you break even or lose money? Is your model too? <laughs> no, uh, all my all my whatnot is for profit. And do you, Mike, do you I, only I, source that uh, like garage sales and stuff? Like, is this? No, I used to do a lot of thrift stores. I, I have a lot. But of But you don't do thrift stores anymore, uh, yes? Yeah, I do occasionally. Okay, yeah. good. Well, we should have went thrifting, yeah. Mike. No. I don't thrift on the highways. Do you, yeah, do you yeah, prefer yeah, yard yeah. sales over thrifting? I don't know. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. I I tell you what, I'm excited. I'm ready to go out this next weekend for yards. My city had a town wide yard sale. I don't remember if I mentioned it last. Yeah, week. well, you were gone. When I and you I came missed, home, 
I missed mm-hmm. it. I, I almost used it as an excuse not to come because I was like, "There's highway, there's not highway, there's the citywide sale in my town." I'm hit you, all you, tell, you say you say your town. Do you talk about your town? Do I talk about it? Yeah, like where you live. Oh, yeah. I mean Indiana, Portage, Indiana. Portage, Indiana, which yeah. is near Gary. Yeah, do you, um, yeah, it's near. Do you know that? Do you know the city? No, we've talked about it, Dan. Yeah, you said like, you said you've gone into just Gary. Re, just, re, just recapping okay. it because I was like, "What? How? Do I, well, just because if I say if I ordered, you're like I haven't left my town, and I was no. like, Portage city limits." Like, <laughs> no, I mean I've left some of those seven we, years. We I've have left. an IGA food liner. And, I've gone in the surrounding cities, but like I haven't left yeah. my city. But when I came home, no, no, when no, I came home that day, huh? How close are you to the lake? Oh, I saw something. Oh, I saw something. <laughs> Viewer cell. <laughs> what did you no, saw? I, I saw t- uh, two pairs of shorts. Um, Dan would like to thank Tim over the years for buying something from a store. No, <laughs> I think it. I th- I got this. I got the item I sold. I got them free from a listener. Eddie, shout out Eddie if he's listening this far into the podcast. He gave me two pairs yeah. of Columbia. Columbia shorts and I sold them in a lot for twenty one ninety nine plus shipping. Is that good, Joe? Perfect. Yeah. You no, know, I'm excited. Thing. I want to go. I want to go out. Th- I want to go out to garage sales this weekend. I'm gonna go thirst. I'm gonna go garage selling this weekend. I'm excited. Yeah, another highway sale to go to. Oh. One that goes through my town. No. It's not gonna be as fun. As is it, is it as big as the one twenty seven? No, like, is it, it, like as, oh, as the one twenty seven is the longest yard sale in the no, world. I'm saying, I'm saying, with a lot of like vendors, There's only, not like, nearly as many vendors. Yeah. It's actually more in like at houses yard sales. There's I some know. vendors, but not. I didn't even then, I didn't, like no big tent cities. I mean, I but. saw. I didn't stop at one vent. Right? Did we stop at a vent? No, the place with the bathroom had vendors. Yeah, that was like a vendor thing. Okay. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I've two years in a row. I, I really definitely, good. I like I like the sales that are at like someone's house, met, as opposed to the big tent city thing. Yeah. Joe likes to be inside someone's house in their attic, picking there. That's what Joe likes. I, I don't. I mean, a little bit of success with that stuff. <laughs> no, it's gonna be good. I Highway Thirty, the old Lincoln Highway Byway sale. I've done good the last two years. Hoping for the trifecta three years in a row of good picking at that sale. And I love it because I can, I can wake up. I don't have to get up super early because I don't have to drive far. There's sales in my town for that sale. So I can now, do you have a, do you have enough room to put all your stuff? Because I know you brought a car load home this week. I have a lot of stuff. Um, yeah. But I, I have room. Um, after the So after the Lincoln Highway sale – Going on a little actual vacation, and then after that, I'm I've decided I'm gonna probably take most of September off from picking, and I'm just gonna list all of September. That's the end of the yard sale season. Yeah, I mean, pretty much. Well, yeah, that's, that's better for you up there. I have so much stuff right now that I can do that, and I need to do that. I need, I, and plus, you know, like not spending and making money will help the business as well. You know, I spent a lot this summer. I've a lot, a lot of picking, a lot of big buys, and I need to just take a little bit of time off. And did you just, sell a lot? Did you sell a lot the last few weeks since you've been going to the? You did the car show, I, and then the. I had I I came back and I I had to ship twenty six after the after the three day weekend because nice. Sonia was shipping. So for my business, it was only a three day weekend. She she shipped everything on Thursday, and then. So Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. For Friday and Saturday, Sunday, I had twenty something, twenty six or twenty seven to ship. So it was a pretty good weekend. So yeah, I mean, staying yeah, I'm there. here trying to get on it. What are you trying to get on? Yeah. Trying to. Uh, Where everybody's staring, Mike. Ask. What are you doing? Yeah, but if we're all quiet, just staring at Mike. We're not kind of kind of listening. Yeah, to kind of things over with. Dude. You're looking for Nar- oh, he's, he's watching TikToks right now? No, I'm trying to log into it. You already oh, signed up. Okay. I you're thought you were looking for a sale. I you're you're banned from TikTok. You're the only person yeah. in the world that's banned. Yeah. I thought you were looking up sales for us, Mike. Yeah, we're waiting to hear yeah. your sale. Yeah. Give us the sale. Yeah, what you so Mike, does the does the uh, garage sales pick up down by you September, October? 
Uh, no, they're they're always the same. Uh, we're doing the highway cell down here uh, in oh, September. They do it. They do the other plea across Florida. Like they do a spring and they do a fall. So we're going to do uh, the fall one. Oh yeah, I'm, uh, I'm flying down for that. Well, you should <laughs> if, if you're if your mom's available and the dog will fit. That way you don't cry. <laughs> and you come on down. <laughs> I I can't log in to TikTok. I, I logged in, I did it with my phone number, and it brought up AM Pickers, and I'm no longer that, but I still have a death pile picker. Apparently, I was on TikTok, I was, able to I was tell really you, invested you, in it. When I did it, it said, at Mike, so I don't know what that yeah. was. Yeah, it means a There's Mike. a lot of Mike. There's a lot know. of Mikes. Yeah. There's Mike and Ikes. I was the first one. Was way back in the day, I was the first Mike on TikTok. Really? I wanted, I wanted something easy. <laughs> Dude, I don't know. I, I can't. I can't. I don't understand TikTok. I don't. I, you say that you record on your phone with your camera also, but I record on a camera. And if I record that, then I have to bring it to my phone and do in shot and then change the scale, yeah. which means you have to cut it as you move around because not everything's in the same frame. Right. That's what I do. I mean, I, when I take the footage from my GoPro, yeah, I mean, I take the footage from my YouTube videos and I'll make a TikTok. I have to reshape it for sure. How do you how do you do it with the the uh, captions? With the what? Captions. And where the word? Uh, I use CapCut. Like CapCut will auto has an auto caption, so mm -hmm. it literally you just push generate and it generates the caption for me. Is that free? Or do you pay for that? There's a there's there's a free version of I pay for. It. There is a free version with like limited different limited fonts that you can use. And so when it Maybe. once it generates, it, you just gotta watch it and make sure that it's spelled all the rule. You can if it's spelled a word wrong or use the wrong word, you can go in there and correct it. You know, you can type in the right word in there. Um, I would just I would just leave it. it. Wait for the gram grammar police to come after you. No, yeah. they, they have an uh, they have an auto captioning InShot also. Yeah, InShot does too. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So now that I know those tools and I'm using them, it's like. It's super easy to make a short. Not I again. The only thing I'm struggling with is how am I going to make it a minute long? I got to figure out how to make an interesting TikTok a minute long, because part of the monetization that I'm going to be available for, you have the videos have to be a minute long at least. Okay. So, and so that like, I was thinking about like for someone that's doing card openings and card pack stuff. Like it's easy for them to make a minute video. Like they're just opening, they just draw out opening the packs, you know, if they have to maybe talk about a player a little bit. I have to figure out for picking wise how to make it a minute video. So I'm going to be working on that tonight, actually. I'm going to try to come up with you an take idea. Take one video and then you chop it up. It's 15 minutes long. You chop it up and yeah, you get at least you're 10 rolls. A lot of work. And I want to try to make this, I want to chop try to. Part of my plan is to make it to where I'm not spending half an hour on a TikTok. You know what I mean? Like I want to be able to, like, hey, if you do that, you take one video from YouTube and chop it up into fifteen or yeah. to ten videos. That's it's what I'm gonna try tonight, You're right? Are you gonna do part one, part two, part fifteen? No, That's not a bad idea. <laughs> you just take one. You just take one sale. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I'm, I mean, I'm there's, actually. There's right. some people that have three, the, the longer cells, they'll, they'll chop it up and they make it into part part yeah. one to part five. Oh, and everybody hates that. And man. All you need know, and they gotta go yeah, find but, that video. But, yeah, but all you need, you just scroll through it on. I don't know how it is on TikTok. Like if you can go through and see the generated video, but on Instagram, you scroll through it and you, it says just watched, and then yeah, you yeah, that's how TikTok. go to the left and right. And, I mean. Take of Instagram paid money like that, then it'd be fantastic because you're just right. feeding into it. You get one that blows up, and then everybody goes looking for it. And all of a sudden, they start scrolling through all your videos. Yeah, I'm only doing it because I got lucky. I had a TikTok that went viral like two years ago, and I it got me to like eleven thousand followers. So like, I don't have to build the following, and it's it was all luck. I don't know how that video got. It was it's a terrible video. Yeah, it was. I but saw that it. video is the video that got me there. And then Carrie's like, Well, you're already almost there. You're right. It was terrible. You watched joking, it. Everybody's I like, I, I want I the Elvis picture. About. Why'd you buy the blow mold? I want the Elvis picture. If you go into the comments on it, it's like, Everybody, the Elvis picture. You should have bought the Elvis picture. Well, Elvis what, what picture. was it? Uh, velvet. Is it pinned at the top oh, of your it TikTok? Like wood, it was like a wood with a with like a print on it. It was like, like 
a plaque. Is it tic tac pinned? Is it pinned? Yeah, it's pinned at the top. It's right. It's right. One of the, I'll have to watch it. I didn't really see it. I was just joking. But yeah. that video, and then I have another one that hit for almost a million. Those two videos combined got me to over the 10,000 that I need in followers. And so then Carrie's like, dude, you're already set up. Like, why aren't you doing this? Like, you already have the everything you need. And now you just need the views. And the only reason you don't have views is you're not putting out videos. And I was like, mm-hmm. okay. And so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it a try and see how, see how it works. We'll see. What do you need? Ten thousand followers. Ten thousand followers, and in the last month, you need a hundred thousand views. And I put out five videos while I was at one twenty-seven, and they got me a hundred thousand views. Like, no, mm. oh, big deal, Jimmy. Big deal, yeah, Jimmy. Hey, Phillips. Mike, you're you're the reason why. You're the one that did good. I know. That's it's right. not a brag. Yeah. I'm just saying, like. Oh, he's a brag. It's a it brag. Was a, okay, it, was a, it was a flex, is what it was. I was it bragging was. about making tacos, and you one up me about your hundred thousand. <laughs> yeah, but views. see, you can say you might know how to get those views on TikTok, but you can't cook for crap, Jimmy. You burned down the damn Airbnb. No, those the the, the chicken you made was better than my. Those pack of beans tacos. were good, huh? Yeah. Oh my god, those I'm not gonna get into I've this. Ever made. <laughs> yep. This isn't I was therapy. So, I was this surprised. isn't therapy, Dan. I'm not going to sit here and justify your behavior. No. I'm not, not going to enable this. I'm not going to enable it. No. We're not, not going to play into the, oh, Your chicken was so much better than my tacos. I wish I could do something. We didn't talk about uh, Joe's balls, his meatballs. Yeah. Joe yeah, made great spaghetti and meatballs. That was mediocre. Juiciest, juiciest balls. Juiciest I've ever balls put in my mouth. That's then. That's All right. That's, that's so with Jimmy that, and, folks, Jimmy and Mike, <laughs> we're gonna end this episode of the Reseller Leftovers podcast. That's really, it. that's a, not gonna be the last words. Thanks, <laughs> Mike. Thanks for coming on, Mike. I appreciate it. Yeah.